Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Crochet Suji episode 6 is finally here and we are here to watch it. It's time for a cricket competition between the four houses with Shiel and Sebastian in the midst of everything hoping to catch the headmaster who in fact is about to show up during the competition but it looks like Shiel won't give up on trying to compete with everyone. After all it was his father who won the first cup, the Blue House, and no one else have ever accomplished it afterwards. Will Shiel pick up on this and try to win as well, just to show up to everyone how much of a mastermind he is, even though he has a little 13 year old frail body. And I sure as hell want to find that out, so let's tune in. Oh, actually, one of you in the comments have pointed out that Shiel's father is supposed to have golden eyes but for some reason his eyes are below in the anima interesting <laughs> oh. oh wow <laughs> bookmark <laughs> oh my god he's stepping on his toes Oh my god, he's totally using Shell's voice. Pretending. Ooh. What's he gonna say? Oh dear. And he obviously won. <laughs> oh my god, I wonder what, <laughs> what was his order. <laughs> and don't tell me he was only interested in winning the cricket because he wanted to win a bet <laughs> to acquire the, whatever favor he wants. That's so much Phantom Hive. <laughs> oh, challenge accepted. And he even had the same type of flower. Is that the type of a flower that the Blue House members are wearing? He didn't say what kind of favor he wants yet. Totally lost. I love it. I wonder what was his mission though. Why was uh, Shiel's dad in the... <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh my god, you were nasty to him. Oh, MG, look at his face. <laughs> and he's actually a prefect. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like Sebastian! You want him to be your own Sebastian! <laughs> oh my god! That is so bad, he proper screwed him over! Maybe he was in there to acquire him. What if that was his purpose all along? Maybe that was his mission? Seems like an easy win. <laughs> oh wow, now you're gonna have to follow in his shoes. So that 
his dad had a physique of, you know, a tall man and she was just so low. <laughs> and it was no miracle at all. I'm sure of it. By force! How are you just what is he going to do? Hmm. I mean, that's not bad at all because if they went against the purple house and they have some mad guys who are definitely cheating, it would be hard for them to win. What else could he say? Oops. Well, after all, cricket, cricket has been founded by uh, in India. Stop it, you! <laughs> You're gonna give this lady's uh, heart attack. So embarrassing. All of Shiel's household is there. Well, she is the proper trained assassin after all. Oh, she's so pretty! I'd love to cosplay Elizabeth, but buying a Lolita costume like this would be really expensive. And how do you make those hair? No idea. Oh. The same thing that has happened in the past. Mm. Just what is this? Do they have like superpowers? <laughs> Crimson tornado. Oh my god. They are doing too well. Not your place. Just how is uh, Sebastian going to support them? <gasps> Even he's there! Oh, wow. Oh. Of course he's... Let everyone invest money in his business because he knows who's gonna win after all. No one would think about betting for a blue house but him. Yeah, right, he's plotting something, isn't he? Oh yes, Phantom Hive always has a plan. Oh my god, I think I know what's gonna happen. He definitely meddled with the food. <clears throat> with the food of the Red House. Don't tell me he has poisoned it. <laughs> I mean, it looks tasty, but you know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, not you. Oh no! <laughs> Don't tell me he recognizes him, or rather her! <laughs> well, he's playing on defending, he's definitely playing on time. <laughs> Oopsie! 
<laughs> Dark forces in play. <laughs> Cheaters. <laughs> they all get in diarrhea, aren't they? Sebastian's cheeky smile. <laughs> oh, so he was pretending to be a butler, and no one realized it's uh, Michaelis. Is everyone going to leave him? Expecting that that's what it is when you've got a phantom hive on your team. <laughs> well, after all, he used to be a proper main butler of the phantom hive family, so he knows all of about you know underhanded tricks and all sorts what is this superpower nice <laughs> this is a really funny episode mm, it's very good <laughs> nice -o! Wow. Amazing. Is she drawing something? Are you for reals? <laughs> Just how they go into window. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, of course he's she's head over heels over shield. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. He's gonna do something. Suspicious. Suspicious as hell. March. She will be very rhythmic. That music's got to have something with the rhythm, right? Definitely. And that's Sebastian's using his magical wands to interfere with the rhythm. So then they can hit the ball when they hear the certain sound, right? Well, it's true though. Right. This is perfect for the blue house. <laughs> it's a proper analytic strategy. It's not cricket though. Oh well. <laughs> Ooh. 
Is it gentlemanly to lose? All of your intellect. He just cheated. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't you go against Phantom Hive, you are supporting Hive Smithford. Oh no, he's doing Violet to stand? That is really, really bad. Oh, so he had to work twice, if not thrice much. He's definitely not. He's a hard working genius, isn't he? The both are really. That is definitely bad news. Next tactic. Headmaster. But is it him really or is it an imposter? Or a double? Look at him transforming into a butler as if there was like a massive difference as if he was putting a wig on or something. No, just change of soda. And definitely no one will realize that he is a Michaelis, right? I love the logic of anime. It does come really handy. Anyways, great episode. There were some embarrassing moments. Proper nasty tactic of a phantom hive. And there looks like there will be another tactic in play. But will Sebastian make it in time to roll it? No, I don't think so. So perhaps phantom, perhaps she will have to do something to uh, grab headmaster's attention. Something that they were talking about in the previous episode. Something to capture headmaster's heart and give the award to the blue house. Or at least... Something that will allow Shell to attend the midnight party. I'm sure they have something genius arranged in place. I don't think we're going to see the headmaster in the next episode. I have a feeling that this is either a double or a fake or something, you know. Because I don't even think the headmaster actually in exists. It is this all so strange? Like, where are all of these missing students? And the final, and the next episode is called the final match. But we are, we will be on episode seven, and we know there is more episodes. There is more game of play. So I'm definitely looking forward to find out just what is happening to the students and what kind of tactics Shell and Sebastian has come up with. A massive thank you for everyone supporting me on this YouTube journey. And big thank you to my patrons, particularly Isaac and the rest of you. Always liking, commenting, supporting me on Patreon as well as on the YouTube channel. For those of you who doesn't know, I do have a Patreon. You can find there over 150 videos in uncut, full length and 100% opacity, early released, which means that we are 
far ahead with every single episode on my Patreon. And there as well, you can find some Patreon exclusive videos, which you won't find on my YouTube channel. And you can even get a shout out in my video. So I truly encourage you to join my Patreon and discover the rest of the perks or simply join my YouTube community where you'll get a special badge, priority in replying to comments and access to special budget. All the funds that I raise from Patreon and YouTube goes towards my subscriptions for video editing programs, cosplay or just dressing up in general and everything else involved with video making. Please stay with me as we are going to get better. Thanks so much everyone and see you in the next episode. Bye!